Good morning. It is 9.14 a.m. Is there anyone there? I'm here to pick up a delivery. It's actually a drop and hook. So I just have to, I dropped the empty trailer that I had. Now I gotta pick up this one. That's against the warehouse dock right now. Is there anyone there? No. Uh, I think, I think I got it centered. Yeah, I got it. Oh, that does not look good. Uh, we're going to send it anyways. We're going to send it anyways. We're going to... Okay. Okay, this thing's heavy. It, like, doesn't... Okay, they, they loaded this trailer up really heavy. It's probably, it's gotta be at least 35,000 pounds if the truck is struggling to get under it. Uh, oh. oh. All right, there you go. Okay, okay. Got it. Alright. Let's go hook up to this trailer. It's an older trailer. But. I hope the tires are good. That's really all I care about now. I don't really care. Tires are good. Brakes good. No holes in the trailer. We're good. There's a rock in the... There's a rock in my, uh... tire. These things are like... They like just rub against the rubber and then... You end up with chunks of your, your tires just missing. Because of those rocks, they get stuck in between that. Okay. Locked in, yeah. We're gonna need like maybe two straps. I don't even know if I can shut because the notches are like right here. So it's, I don't know. All right, I want to get the good ones. These are like the two straps I always use. And then the other four, they're really just for decoration. These things, they go like this. These do not come loose. Compared to uh, like these, these pull ones where they're like this. I've noticed that when I'm driving and the, the load like moves, it'll, this thing will slide. And then when I go to open it, open the, the trailer doors when I'm at my delivery, the strap is just sagging because it came loose. I don't like those straps. How come those lights aren't on? This light's usually... Are my headlights on? Ah, oh, I didn't turn the light. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, maybe you should turn your headlights on, Alex. When you're checking the lights, that's kind of... Kind of a smart thing to do. Oh, they should be. Yeah, now they work. And those ones up there, okay. All good. Alright. Oh, There's a bunch of dishwashers and appliances. 
I think this one's gonna go here. And then, we're gonna strap this one. This is a bad strap job. This is a bad, I already, <laughs> look at the gap. <laughs> I mean, but, <laughs> oh, this is sloppy, man. <laughs> this isn't really gonna hold it. But I mean, you, I, I made an effort, so that's what matters. I don't know. That box is definitely gonna go under. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, this is, this is doing nothing for that one. Um, you know what? The last trailer I had, I think, it had, uh, I this is the one. Let me see. Yeah. We're just going. We're just going to straight up take it. It's no one else is using it. And it's our trailer, so. We're going to use this to secure the load. Now with this, I don't have to use the notches there. I can actually go below them. I can put this wherever I want it. So right now, that box. Huh? I'm going to take my hand off. That box right there will be secured. Ah, that stuff's not going anywhere. Now this delivery is going from, um, I think it's Manuk, Illinois, all the way to Groveport, Ohio. But you see that Indianapolis big city? I don't like driving through any big cities. So then I look over here and Google Maps offers me three options. You see, we're gonna get there at the same time, six hours, 37, 635. And look at that, it's this one's 385 miles, the one that Garmin wants to take me down. But then you switch to this one, it's only 368 miles and it's not an interstate. It's like, it's super chill. Well, it, we, we're gonna take the back roads is basically what I'm trying to say. If I can avoid driving in a big city, with all those crazy drivers. That's what I'm gonna do. Well, this is the route that I chose. This is what I get. It'll be smooth, I said. There'll be no traffic. It'll be me, the truck, and cruise control. Oh, he's letting me in, that's nice. That's nice, thank you. Right now, I'm going uh, south on. Turn right on East County Road 1100 North. Oh no, but I only have to stay on here for two miles. And then I get off of here. Oh no! You know what? Maybe it's not that bad. It's only for two miles. Oh, it's because there's a. That's because there's a traffic light. Who put a traffic light on the highway? What kind of genius? Check it out, see what it's all about. Continue three and 
three quarter miles to the end of the street, then turn right. Right away. Alright. We are here. I tell you what, I'm very surprised that there's this much parking. It is 5.21 p.m. right now. I usually shut down at 3 p.m. But tomorrow, I'm supposed to be... Well, technically, I'm not supposed to be home until uh, Saturday. But tomorrow's Friday. I want to get home tomorrow, Friday, by 3 p.m. I really do. On time. Or not, not even, on time isn't, er, isn't good enough. Early. That's when I want to get there. And so that's why I drove an extra two and a half hours today. Uh, let's see, where do we want to park? I want to park on a flat spot. A flat spot, but that's not too noisy, you know? This isn't good. Oh, there's Tanker over there. Uh, uh, I don't want to park next to Tanker. I think if I park here, but then I have to worry about the two people that are going to park next to me. And then if they hit my truck, I'm pretty screwed. How are they gonna hit my truck though? They are out. I don't know. Let's do it. Let's just. Let's just park here. I overthink it. Oh, wait a minute, this is a dead end? These are all parking spots? Ah, this is a bad spot. Because then, like at nine o'clock at night, all this is gonna be full, and then the trucks are gonna have to go through here. And then they're gonna get stuck. Then I have to deal with them getting stuck and being around my truck while they're trying to get unstuck. I don't... Maybe they can make this U-turn. Is this wide enough? I don't know, probably. I don't know. I think this is wide enough space to make a U-turn. I think so. Alright. This is how much I drove today. But it felt like a lot more. I. Like, I've been driving since, like, I think 7 a.m. That's when I woke up, woke up and did my pre-trap and I drove to the pickup. Uh, but then I had to wait, like, two hours at the pickup. Right now, it's, like, 5. So that's, like, um, what's that? 7 to 5? That's, like, a 10-hour shift. So this does not reflect that at all. I've been working for a really long time. And so now, I only have, I think it's an hour to the place that I'm going to. Yeah, I only have an hour to the place I need to deliver to tomorrow morning at 7.30. But I'm going to try to get there. Oh, I don't know what time they open, though. What time do they open? Let's see. Opens 10 a.m. tomorrow. Yeah, no. No, that's not gonna happen. But the appointment was scheduled for 7.30. So how early do you think I can get there? I think for sure they'll accept me if I get there at 7. Is 6.30 pushing it? I'm trying to get home, man. Like, I don't... 
I don't want to do this waiting around stuff. I don't know. Maybe 6.45. Alright. We'll, we'll plan to get there at 6.45 a.m. And then if, if they tell us that we're too early, I'm just going to play dumb. Like, oh, well, I thought it was... I thought I thought we could get there anytime first come first serve. I don't know they told me this and this you know we'll, we'll just do that don't I'm sure I'll be fine all right showers available for buy it okay five three nine four four six let's go Oh, there's just someone back here. Yeah. Alright, I got my key, right? I got my key, got my phone, wallet, okay. I tell you what, this is this is a really nice one. That's probably why there's a lot of parking spots left, because no one knows about this truck stop. It's so brand new. in here have the AC and we'll turn it down I'll turn it down right there okay I lost weight somehow <laughs> which is not what I want to do I know everyone wants it this way I don't I somehow manage I sit in this chair literally 10 hours a day I somehow manage to lose weight it's because I work out so much and it's very intense that I think that my body like even when I'm just sitting it's just burning off calories because it's constantly trying to um, replenish the calories lost and rebuild the muscle that that was uh, fatigued in the workout at least that's what I think is happening I went from 160 pounds to now 155 155 uh, I think 0.6 pounds which is not good I started trucking at 130 pounds and then I started working out a lot and eating a lot more now I'm at 100 I was at 160 pounds and now I'm still pretty slim, you know, I'm still pretty slim guy. So I want to work my way up to 170 and see how I look from then. Uh, this isn't usually the food that I eat. Like I don't eat this. I mean, this is junk food. The only reason I got it was because I have a lot of YouTube stuff to do today. Like a lot. It's going to take forever. And I really didn't want to cook. And so, yeah, I have to get to 170 pounds. And I am going to finish this. Where did the guy go? They told me to back into dock 122. Which is way behind me. 
So I need a. I just need to straighten out, really. Turned it too soon. Yep. Well, it's kind of. It's kind of lined up. I kind of lined up. And then he's gonna tell me, "Oh, your doors are closed." Yes, I know. I know. But I need to line up first. And then, and then, I can open the doors. This is so crooked. This is so crooked. This is so crooked. I think we're good. We're just gonna move it back so I can slide the tandem forward. I think we're good. It took me 10 minutes to freaking do that, man. It's insane. Not centered. I mean, that is, that is, I mean, that's just not.
Auckland Air, Lock and Jaws Airlines. Uh, I'm just gonna pull forward and drop the suspension. I'll lower it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna park next to it. Because the sign said to park in front of the trailer, but I mean, look at me, I'm in the way. So, I'm just gonna park next to it. And there's no dock behind me. So if anyone, so I'm not even blocking them. That's good. Ah! 20 minutes. Ay, that took forever. But, uh, I'm ready to go home, man. Hopefully, they're not gonna be quick because you saw all those uh, boxes that were in there, the, they're not on pallets. And so what they have to do is they have to go in and um, probably take them on those little dollies things and like hand load them onto the dollies and then it's gonna take forever. What do you think, like two hours? Probably two hours. All right, they are all done. They took about an hour and a half, which is, I mean, for what they had to unload by hand, it's not bad at all. Uh, is it actually empty though? Sometimes I had them leave stuff in here. Where's my load bar? My load bar. Where's my load bar? Take my load bar. No, no, no. I was gonna stay with me for like ever. I got a free load bar, man. It's awesome. That's gonna do it for this delivery. Turns out I'm not going home. I got a load going to Michigan. So, yeah, that's it. Yeah, bye-bye.